March 16th, an example to others. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Philippians 4 verse 9. It is well when a man can be so minutely copied with advantage as Paul might have been, or for grace to imitate him this day and every day. If we through divine grace carry into practice the Pauline teaching, we may claim the promise that is now open before us. And what a promise it is. God who loves peace makes peace and breathes peace will be with us. Peace be with you. Shalom is a sweet benediction. But for the God of peace to be with us is far more. We have the fountain as well as the streams, the sun as well as its beams. If the God of peace is with us, we will enjoy the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Even though outward circumstances threaten to disturb us, men quarrel, will surely be peacemakers. We will surely always be peacemakers. So real peace is found in the way of truth. If we quit the faith or leave the path of righteousness under the notion of promoting peace, we will be greatly mistaken. The order of wisdom and of fact is first pure, then peaceable. Let us keep to Paul's line, and we will have the God of peace with us as he was with the Apostle. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. These things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen me in me do and the God of peace shall be with you.